the story everyone is talking about from Jacksonville to our nation's capital. Congresswoman Kareem Brown wakes up this morning under federal indictment. Yeah, she's going to be back in court next month. It's going to be for a status hearing. Her trial is expected to start in September. So Brown was formally indicted on 22 charges yesterday in federal court. Brown and her chief of staff both pleaded not guilty yesterday at the federal courthouse. Our cameras were not allowed inside, but an artist drew these sketches for us. The six-month-long grand jury investigation looked into a charity for which Brown served as a spokesperson and how money raised by the charity was used. So Channel 4's Chris Parento was at the federal court yesterday when the indictment was handed down. Chris, there was a lot of commotion going on. What can you tell us? Well, the congresswoman was very adamant that she is innocent in all of this. She actually said as she got ready to walk away, I'll see you all back in court. You could tell, though, that it was a very long and very emotional day for Congresswoman Brown and everybody who was there with her. My heart is just really heavy. Uh, this has been a very difficult time for me, my family, my constituents. But I'm looking forward to uh, a, a speedy day in court to vindicate myself. Full vindication. That's what Congresswoman Corrine Brown demanded Friday afternoon after being indicted inside the federal courthouse. A month-long investigation into an unlicensed charity based in Virginia revealed that Brown used money from her campaign to give to the charity One Door for Education and even deposited some of that money into her own personal bank account. According to prosecutors, Brown and two others used money donated to the charity to buy plane tickets, repair their personal cars, and to pay for luxury vacations to the Bahamas, Los Angeles, and Miami Beach. The indictment said more than $200,000 from the charity was used to pay for Brown to host a golf tournament at TPC Sawgrass in Ponte Vedra Beach, to pay for lavish receptions, a luxury box at a Beyonce concert, and a box when the Jacksonville Jaguars played the Washington Redskins. Though the defense can't present its side until trial, Brown and her attorneys shared their disappointment of the investigation on the courthouse steps, even alluding to the Orlando terror attacks. I represent Orlando. These are the same agents that was not able to do a thorough investigation of the agent, and we ended up with 50 people dead and over 58 people injured. Same district, same Justice Department, same agents. And with that, I will see you in court. There's all scuttlebutt a lot of times. You don't necessarily know what to believe. But once an indictment comes down uh, in a, for, by a federal grand jury, that's a big deal. We sat down with Republican Congressman Ron DeSantis, who said public corruption is held as a very high priority in Congress. He shares what could be the congresswoman's fate if convicted. She's obviously uh, has the ability to defend herself and she can remain in the Congress uh, even though she's indicted. Um, and she can run for election again and the voters can factor that in. But I can say if convicted, I think these are serious offenses and I think it would result in her being expelled from the House of Representatives. One of Congresswoman Brown's biggest supporters standing by her side after court yesterday was her pastor, Bishop Rudolph McKissick Jr. He says he and others are going to continue to pray for her and they are going to continue to stand by her side. He says that he hopes everybody will presume her innocent until the court system proves otherwise. Ashley?